as I sit on this train with a mask on, I can't fathom. How could they even play football in 1918? The Spanish flu claimed 675,000 deaths in the United States. Not to mention, you had soldiers coming back from Europe. It was World War One. You had people dying at a rapid rate all over the United States. So I don't get how they can even play football during this period. You got guys in the stands, fans in the stands, with masks on. I understand the love for football. I really do. The love of sports in the United States. But the Spanish flu was 10 times worse than what's going on today with the COVID-19. I, I can't wrap my mind about, about how they played football and how nonchalant they was with the Spanish flu. Now, most of the teams, they were military teams that barnstormed the United States to play football games. Now, you had John Heisman. His Georgia Tech team went 6-1, and they didn't win a national championship. The team that won a national championship in 1918 was Michigan. They went 5-0. and and Pitt went 4-1. and one. They had to do away with a lot of games because of the pandemic. Just like in 2020, if there's a football season, they're not going to play 11 games. The only teams that might play 11 games would be the SEC Conference because they're football crazy. Football in the South is a religion. So in 1918, you had co-national champions. Michigan and Pittsburgh with a co- combined record of 9-1. and one. But to top it off, they even played baseball in 1918 with masks on while they're playing, in, playing baseball. It's just something's crazy. And Harvard and Yale, they didn't play football. Ivy Leagues didn't play football in 1918. Just like today. This is Corner Sports Net. I'll talk to these guys later.